And my number one priority for the next four years is to ensure that all Americans have the best education in the world. This is the knowledge century. Unfortunately, we have a lot of kids that are entering that century without any knowledge. But the, really what's passed this debate on this issue is that we've gone from the best to the worst. Without standards and competition, there can be no champions, no records broken, no excellence in education or any other walk of life. The United States is at or near the bottom in both mathematics and science. And the parents don't know. They trust the state. They trust the Department of Education. They think their public school in their neighborhood is great. But uh, there's an unwillingness on the part of the general public to really take an active part in assuring that they're getting a quality education. Shouldn't we make it possible for all families to have access to that kind of alternative? If we don't change, we won't be able to compete. It's the bottom line. Our test scores last year were the seventh highest of any public high school in Los Angeles. It is the highest achieving, lowest cost secondary school in this district and perhaps in the state. There are ways to engage kids in different types of things that this school does, but you just do it with something else. My 10th graders, 100% of them passed that the, the exam. I don't know any other school in the whole state. 100% of these kids in our 10th grade class, English is their second language. Let's not complain. Let's find a solution. <laughs>